right here we are in a beautiful spring Lake Havasu City morning looking at a very nice uniquely rare 1957 Oldsmobile Super 88 two-door sedan very uh, nicely done or preserved the owners owned this about 10 years or so he's done a lot of uh, going through everything and make sure everything works and uh, dialed it in so to speak uh, we're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do um, he's completely rebuilt the powertrain in the car but we'll talk about that in just a minute it's finished in a uh, correct we've d decoded the data tag on the firewall we'll have a picture of that at Spud's garage this color here is called desert glow and we believe the top half or the uh, Victoria half is finished in a alcan, alcan white the data tag shows it to be an all uh, desert glow colored car but I like the two-tone structure on it it looks great the owner has put uh, chrome baby moon hubcaps on it chrome wheels with baby moon hubcaps he has the original wheels wide whites and hubcaps if you'll hang on to the video and the trunk will cover the hubcaps for you and we should have a segment with the wheels on it we'll actually get it up on the lift like we usually do we're headed there next uh, all the glass and trim on the car is very nice. The body is very straight. Uh, professional quality refinish, I would call it average to above average. Definitely um, better than it would have been from the factory, so it looks great on the car. Um, it has all original glass on it. The car is believed to be a 50,000 mile car, and, and uh, it was sold to the owner that way, but we don't have any signed document or anything, so it's believed to be actual. The interior is original in the car, and we'll walk around, we come back around, and we'll cover all that for you. Um, stop and take a really good look here. The Cooper Cobra Radial GT tires on it. All the chrome trim and bright work is very nice. Uh, the bumpers have been replated. There's some original chrome on the car, uh, and you can tell that because it has just a little bit of character to it. Um, and their items have been replated like this holiday or this 88 piece here in the front is original so you can see it's got a little bit of patina and character the headlight buckets have been replated the bumpers been replated the grill is beautiful underneath the hood is 371 cubic inch uh, rocket 88 has a hydromatic four-speed automatic transmission in it. it has a positive traction rear end the owner spent about 15 grand going over the uh, entire powertrain in the car and all receipts are included it has a dyno sheet when he went through it um, we'll spend a little bit more time underneath the engine compartment he added that some of the j2 options that would have been uh, available at the time so it has a j2 uh, intake manifold tri-power setup on it. it has correct 16 heads on it they rebuilt the motor it has uh, uh, it was bored 30 over. It has uh, roller rockers on it, roller lifters on it, that kind of thing. So it's up updated so it can take any kind of oil you want to put in it. The hydromatic was rebuilt like we talked about. Beautiful day here in the park. These uh, two-door uh, post sedans are very cool. NASCAR did pretty good with these back in the day. They were actually one of the biggest horsepower cars out there at 370, you know, 371 cubic inches. Uh, they were rated, I think, uh, 277 with a four barrel and over 300 with a uh, tri-power on it. And this car has been dyno tested. Well, actually, its portion of this video will show it on an engine stand. Um, they had rated it at 311 horsepower, and that's without even opening up the uh, tri-power or the secondary carburetors on it, so to speak get you inside here it has a uh, all this carpet interior appears to be original maybe not the carpet but it could possibly be the original carpet but I can tell you looking at this upholstery and headliner again the odometer on it reads about 50,000 believed to be actual there's a lot of tendencies the way the door shut on this car the way the interior is lead me to believe that also you'll see the added mark 4 air conditioning at the underneath here factory power steering car both sun visors have the Oldsmobile uh, uh, vanity mirrors on them that say Oldsmobile. We'll get over to the driver's side here. Shut the door, you'll see how the door's shut. Actually, I shut that a little bit too hard, don't need to. Boom. Body's nice, panels are very straight.
The owner replaced the right front fender because it had some uh, corrosion at the bottom of the fender that had been repaired. Wanted it done right. J2 license plate. You gotta love the way the exhaust, uh, the way the back of these look on the back here. Has all new exhaust in it. Again, we're gonna take it direct from here and get it up on the lift and give you a good feel of the undercarriage. Desert Glow, code 65. To get in here, I, I have a spec sheet here from the owner, but we'll uh, cover a lot of that at Spud's Garage. The VIN's a 578M, which means it is a Super 88, and the M means it was built in Lansing, Michigan. Body code's a 573611D, which is a two-door sedan, six-passenger. They build about 2,983 of these cars. I believe it's the lowest production number um, of Oldsmobile body styles in 1957 that were produced. I'll go back and study that. Seat belts in the back seat. Dome lights working. Dialed in everything. We'll get inside here on the dash here and I'll share a little bit more with you. Um, we never start, you know, run the radios because YouTube will say I'm doing some kind of copyright infringement. But I'll tell you the CD, AM, FM, CD down there underneath works. And the fact that the owner likes tinkering with factory radios, the factory radio does work. Chrome dash odometer is 50,832 miles at the time of inspection. Original padded dash. You notice the sweeping hand on the clock is sweeping. Time's about right, too. Hydromatic, four speed automatic. Fuel gauge just went up. It starts right up. Take a really good look at this steering wheel. This is an original steering wheel. You can see that it's original, but there are no big, large cracks in it or anything like that. Little, 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 super little, tiny one uh, you could pick right there, but uh, nice bright work on this car. Anyway, we think you get the idea. You definitely want to hang on to the end of the video. You want to go to spudsgarage.com. Let me get out and let you hear it run. Nice sound, runs right. All right. We'll get you underneath the hood here. Fun part, my favorite part is always, very good looking uh, J2 option equipped style car underneath the hood here, very period correct. The owner went through the entire powertrain on this car, um, completely rebuilt the engine in it, and then he added the tri-power, uh, the dimple uh, valve covers, we'll cover that for you in just a second, and the J2 air filter, that type of thing. But it was completely rebuilt, board 30 over, done professionally by a, uh, um, a machine shop, and then dyno tested, the dyno sheet comes with it. Hydromatic, four-speed automatic transmission was completely gone through. All these receipts the owner has, has a positive traction rear differential in it, and that was also rebuilt. Nice little rare options. The owner added, like we talked about, added the J2 option. It's really hard to tell if these were originally equipped like this or not. Some would have a W on the firewall, firewall data tag. This particular one has correct cylinder heads on it that were on this car when he bought this car, which would be the 16 cylinder heads. It has the correct dimple valve covers on it. The tri-power with the va uh, vacuum uh, pods on the uh, secondary carburetors on it. Power steering is equipped with factory power steering. Factory power brakes. He has upgraded to a uh, Mark IV air conditioning system, which has got underneath the uh, dash, you'll see the Mark, Mark IV evaporator. Factory style generator. Has a vacuum boost uh, here to give the carburetor so they'll work correctly. The engine was dyno tested at about 311 horsepower and that was without even opening up the uh, 
secondaries because it just didn't enough have enough vacuum at the time. These cars just don't produce a lot of engine vacuum. They are high horsepower cars. Correct battery. He's got a nice little disconnect here. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Make sure you go to spudsgarage.com. We'll show you the data tag. We'll have plenty of pictures at Spuds Garage. We took some photos with the uh, air filter housing off, that type of thing. Data tag. There you go. Bottom side of the hood's detail out. All right, we'll get you in the trunk here and share what's in the trunk. Cover that all that for you. Nice finish. The uh, I think it's called an Alcan white. I'm not sure. The the white was redone on the deck lid here. Uh, the trunk is very nice. Original uh, original trunk uh, carpet material, that kind of thing. Upholstery in fairly good shape. Uh, the uh, it has a car cover here. It has the original hubcaps here. The original wheels and tires are included. It has a uh, chrome spare that matches what's out there. However, this tire is just a little bit smaller to fit in the well. It has the original jack down here in the corner. All right, we're going to get you to the undercarriage here. We have it down here at Spud's Garage at our shop. We're going to uh, cover it for you. Overall, very nice. Uh, Solid undercarriage, factory undercoated style. Um, going to cover what we see as we go along here. I've spent some time with a flashlight on it, looking at it pretty good. He's went through it mechanically. All new fuel system. The rear end's been rebuilt. We'll do that as we go along here. He's owned it about 10 years. We talked about that during the walk around. All new exhaust system, factory style, factory exit out the back. Um, you see the floor pans here. Again, I've spent some time looking at it. Uh, the inner rockers appear to all be original on it. Um, you'll see the rear end is a posi. It's a 3-2-3 ratio. The drive shaft has been uh, rebuilt and balanced. The transmission, the hydromatic has been completely rebuilt. Covering the floor pans here for you again. That's a factory style undercoating. It's not something he did. Um, some of it flakes off here and there just a little bit. The factory undercoating. You'll see how heavy it is here. You can't duplicate that. Up in here, all the rockers. The body mounts themselves look good. I can't see in there. My camera can but the rockers have the drain holes on it. The rockers look original. We'll do the same thing over on the passenger side. Here. Pardon my fiddling around. Again, uh, all factory style undercoating. A little bit flaking. Now, he hasn't painted it or done anything weird there. Appears to be all original floor pans and we know that he replaced the right front fender because it had uh, some corrosion at the bottom, which is typical, and it'd be repaired. And he wanted it done right, and that was done uh, during the refinish of the car. The 371 cubic inch has been completely rebuilt, like we talked about during the walk around. Dyno tested on an engine stand. You've probably already seen that clip, or you'll see it clip here shortly. Depends on where I place it in the video. Factory suspension brakes Turn around and give you a feel here good solid car again I don't see anything that was intentionally hidden take you the outside rockers here Inner fender aprons, really hard to see, but the inner fender's here in the rear. Pick it up, all factory style undercoating. 
go to the outside here same thing over on this side get up in there factory drain holes on the rockers anyway we think you get the idea go to spudsgarage.com give me a call if you got any question the owner is taking it back to his garage could be going to your garage make sure you go to spuds garage have a great day